Customers are business partners to which you sell products and or services to. They are available for selection in sales orders and customer BP invoices. When creating a customer, you must select a customer category and enter a customer ID. Information defined or modified for a customer in the customer function automatically updates the corresponding BP record. Let's take a look at adding a customer in your system. To add or modify customers, select the Customers function in the Common Data menu. To add a new customer, click New in the right-hand panel. Select the customer category that your customer belongs to. This will bring in your customer defaults. If the customer category has the customer number automatically being created, you can skip the entering a customer number. Mine does not, so I will create my own customer number. I'll take the first three characters of my first name and the first three characters of my customer's last name. You can enter in a short description and an acronym. Then you can enter in your customer name. You can enter in whether it's a physical person and a second name if you want. Your country and language will default in from your category, but they can be overridden. On your address tab, enter in your customer's address. I'll give it an address code of corp for corporate address. And then I type in my description. I enter in the address. And then I can jump down to the postal code and let it fill in my city and state for me. If I have phone numbers and email, I can enter in that information as well. If I have more than one address for this customer, I could enter in a second address. Once again, I could jump down to the postal code and let it fill in my city and my state. On your commercial tab, Information that will default in from your category would be my ABC class, which I can change. Whether I want to have a partial delivery or not, I'm going to go ahead and say ship order complete only. And I'm also going to change my invoicing mode from one per order to one per shipment. I can change my invoicing pyramid. I can change my invoicing period. I can enter in any elements such as discounts and charges or I can go ahead and enter in a commission or text information. On my management tab, I can change my customer type from normal to temporary, but this is going to be a normal customer, so I won't have to enter in the address. I'll use the address that I supplied on the address tab. I can also change whether they have a credit hold, um, any type of customer relations or management and po points token, if I'm using that type of a system and I can also change my statistical groups. If I want to have a note pop up whenever I use this customer when entering in orders, I can enter in a customer note from here. I go ahead and put in my priority for my note type. I can get, select a category. I can have an effective date and an expiration date. And then I can type in my message. And this will add a note onto this customer. On my financials tab, 
I can enter information for my bill to, my pay to. I notice I also have my addresses for there. I can set my standard accounting code. If I don't want my default, I can always go ahead and select my correct accounting code. I can set my tax rule. I also have my payment terms and I have payment days. A payment day will be a default day that regardless of the payment term, the bill will be due on. I can put in 15th, so it'll be due the 15th of the month, or, and I can put 99 and it'll be due the end of the month. So if my payment terms calculate to the 14th, it'll make the payment days 15. And if my payment terms calculate to be the 18th, it'll go to the end of the month, which can be 28, 29, 30, or 31. I can also change my late or my discount code. I can change my payment bank, or I can leave them all the same, as well as my reminder types and my note types. My ship to has information about my distribution. Notice that I have my corporate address default in, but if I wanted to add in a second address, I could always add it my second address. And then I can have different shipping information for my customer. My bank ID tab will allow me to enter bank identity details. Each country will have a different format. These formats are based off the internationally agreed standards, also known as IBAN. can select my bank ID number and my currency. My contacts tab allows me to enter in my contact for this customer. Enter in your contact code. If the contact already exists in the contact database, the information will fill in for you. If you want to see the information in the contact database, click on the action card in front of the contact code and go into the contact relationship. The information in this database is different than the information that displays on the previous screen. Once you have your customer information entered, click Create, and then close your page. In this lesson, you have learned that all customers must be associated with a customer category and have a customer ID. The default information from the customer category can be modified, and any information changed in the customer will change the associated business partner. There are eight tabs of information with additional settings not defined in the customer category. And finally, the system creates customer-specific address codes based on the customer ID.